right hand man, you know, uh, I love this guy to death, you know. We've been through so much together. And uh, for him to to be able to to obtain that company, man, that's 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 a pat on the back itself, you know. He deserved a vacation in Hawaii somewhere. You know, but uh that just <laughs> That just lets you know that anything is possible, no matter where you're from. It ain't about where you're from. It's about where you're trying to achieve in life and where you're trying to go. And uh, I think we accomplished that tonight from starting from scrap. You know, you're talking about looking at a guy that didn't know nothing about amateur boxing, and now I'm a world, I'm a world champion. So all the little kids, boys and girls, that's that's looking up to me now, they, you know, they're saying, if I can do it, if he do, if he did it, I can do it. And, uh, just imagine how many, how many people this is going to affect. And this dude came from nowhere and started so late in, in life. But look how much he, did, he did, how far he did came and how much he's accomplished. So, uh, man, I, I'm excited, not only for myself, but, but for how many people did I have, uh, have affected tonight. Speaking of which, you talking about the rapper that led you into the ring. What's the story of that? Which one? The rapper? Amp. Yeah. Amp. Yeah. I'm a man, Amp, right here. You know, that's my that's my brother right there, man. You know, um, the story with Al, he was a he was a great great fighter himself, a heavyweight. He was the only guy that we knew was 240 pounds and hit a and hit a, uh, a back flip in the ring and land on his feet. You know, he was just that athletic, very light on his feet. I think he would have been definitely uh, a guy that would have added to the heavyweight division for to bring the excitement. Man, this guy could fight and. Um, he just made a, the national team, and one day he was driving home from the national team, a drunk driver hit him and, and ended his career just like that, all in one night. Um, so now he's an artist, and, and when, he, when he sent me his stuff, when he sent me his stuff one day, I didn't know what he was doing, you know, because I just always called him and motivated him to go through rehab and, and stuff like that. I think he had kind of gave up a little bit, which I understand because we go day by day, with no worries sometimes, you know, but sometimes we never know. One day something freakish accident like that can happen to us, or one day we're here and the next day we're gone and different things. Sometimes we take life away, you know, and and somebody took his life away from him. Not, not, as far as the boxing career, somebody took his, took his life away, but like I said, somebody took his life away because he, he, he ate, breathed, and sleep boxing, and his dreams was crushed, and now he's doing something else positive, and I wanted to give him that opportunity. When he sent me his music, I said, bro, I gotta get you to walk me out. You know, I had a, I had a, a well-known artist that was gonna do it, but I felt like it would've meant a lot more to him than to this guy that was already well, you know. Awesome enough, and I think you go down the history the first wheelchair artist to, to walk somebody out. Yeah. And he did a fabulous job, man, and uh, I'm, I'm happy and I'm proud of him to give him that opportunity. And his family was proud of him, and, and, and I hope this started a trend out for, for, for all people that, that's in the wheelchairs or something, you know. It's never too late, man. You can do whatever you want. Don't never let life take you down, you know. Sometimes people make dumb decisions that can cost people life. Or, what they trying to succeed, you know, trying to do in life and try to be a better person in life, but keep going, brother. And I'm glad I was able to give you, I'm glad I was able to give you the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Congratulations on your victory. You're impressive. You were talking after the fight about your doubts about your chin and stamina and all that stuff going into the fight. Did you use those? Doubts to even get more motivated for this fight, or was it just all the same, and you were just determined to do your thing out there? Well, I, I was more just determined to do my thing. You know, um, many people say many things about me, but like I said, I can't please everybody. It's too many people to please, man. That's like <laughs> that's like being in the line, being you know, fighting with your back against the wall. You know, it, it, it's, it's too many people to please. So. Deontay just do Deontay and I stay in my own lane. I believe in what I've been taught and, and what we do in the gym. We work hard. You know, people don't understand how hard of a worker I am. You look at a guy that nothing 
has actually been given to me. Man. I, don't, I don't know what it is to receive, man. I've always known to work hard. You know, that's what I've been raised to, to be as a hard worker. If you want something, go get it, your own, get it yourself. And um, so we work hard in the gym. You know, uh, boxing is like my nine to five. I'm, I'm at the gym almost every day. You know, and you know, you hear a lot of boxers say, oh, I'm in shape and stuff like that because that's the thing they want to say for people to, uh, to boost up stuff, you know, but when I say I'm in the best shape of my life, I'm in the best shape of my life. And, and I put it up, I put anybody up to the test so that. So um, we came in with a mentality, we know what we can do. We've been saying this for years, we know what we can do. I'm just glad, like I said, it's, uh, it's only take the right opponent to prove to people what you can do. And like I said, Burmans the Burmans was the perfect opponent for me. And um, I think I proved to the world what, I, what Deontay Wilder is capable of. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let's give it up for the new WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And the American will be right back. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. And what a great way to celebrate Muhammad Ali's birthday. Uh, I want to tell you, Berman will not be here. He, he, he wanted to come here, but they recommended that he go and check himself. So he went to the hospital and they checked in. So unfortunately, he won't be here to respond at this time. So we will go to work and try to get him rededicated and, and come back again. So he won't be here to be responsive, responsive to, the, uh, to the press conference. But I do want to thank Al Hammond uh, for really instrumental in making this event happen. You know, he's a man who keeps his word, make a deal, you see him without Al, and that's what the deal will be. And so I just want to mention that because that's how this big region came together. And I'm going to pay tribute to, uh, to Al Hammond. Mark Breland. Mark Breland. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Without a question of a doubt. He hard to do, man. Don? Don? Can I have a quick word? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the other interview we done the other day on Box Nation, mm -hmm. they love that shit. The opportunity. Hey, they man, love thank that you, shit. man, being a part of the sport. Let's, let's give others opportunity. Absolutely. Jay, don't leave me. I want to get a word with you, yeah? Give me oh, yeah. five minutes, I'll be with you. I'll be right over I'll come and find you, I promise. <laughs>